Hey, Mark King here, and here's a story by Breitbart. Uh, uh, all right, all right, let's get it. Pulitzer Prize to New York Times essay falsely claiming American Revolution was fought to preserve slavery. Again, you can look at people and you know if they're smart or not, okay? You, you know, okay? Just this person doesn't doesn't give me any vibe. You know, it has nothing to do with the color of the hair, just the, the facial features, just, it's not there, right? Anyway, to show you how much, uh, <laughs> okay, this is by Joel Pollock from Breitbart News. Ah, this is written a few places, but hey, this is used by Bart, Breitbart News. This is me right most of the time, anyway. The 2020 Pulitzer Prize for Commentary was awarded Monday to Nicole Hannah-Jones for the essay in the New York Times that will falsely claim the American Revolution was fought primarily to protect slavery. Again, like, how do you make these claims? Where's the proof, right? There's no proof. You just, you just... You know, again, intelligence is simply putting, putting and deciphering information together, right? It, it doesn't involve you pretending information that's clearly false is correct. But what do I know? She won a Pulitzer Prize, you know? What do I know, you know? The Lois Lane would be jealous, you know? <laughs> uh, the essay incorrectly claimed that the Declaration of Independence was signed on July 4th, 1776. Signing actually began <laughs> weeks later in August 2nd. <laughs> that, that, that's when the Pulitzer, everybody. That, that is what won the Pulitzer. However, far more uh, egre egregious ever was Hunter Jones claiming about the cause which the revolution was fought she would conveniently left out of our founding mythology is the fact that one of the primary reasons the colonists decided to declare the independence from Britain was because they wanted to protect the institution of slavery. Okay, look. If you write this essay in junior high school, you basically get marks taken away. At least that's what it worked for me. <laughs> you know, I write something about any factual basis based on some emotion I had 10, 15 years ago. That have been you the deduct points in the essay for being factually incorrect and they ask you where's the evidence, you know? But in today's world, you, know, you can want to pull sir for uh, stating false information. <laughs> the passage which appeared in the original text has been updated to include the word some emphasis added. Conveniently left off of our founding mythology is that the fact one of the primary reasons some of the columns, some, I think originally she wrote all Basically, she wrote all of the colonists fought Britain to protect slavery. That's what she wrote originally. Then eventually, was changed. But again, what do I know? It's it's, it's a Pulitzer <laughs> it's a Pulitzer surprise winning. Oh God, I hate my life. Historians were outraged by Hannah Jones' false claim as well. She'll be one of them. Northwestern University professor Leslie Harris was enthusiastic about the 1619 project but fierce about the inaccurate claim Harris recalled in Politico. On August 19 last year, I listened to stunned silence as Nicole Hannah-Jones, a reporter for the New York Times, repeated an idea I vigorously argued against with her fact-checker that patriots fought their re revolution large in part to preserve slavery in, America, in North America. I vigorously dispute the claim, although slavery was certainly an issue in the American Revolution, the protection of slavery was not does, was not one of the main reasons the 13 colonies went to war. Again, when you take all these tests, and like, uh, I don't still have them, you used to have to take things like regions tests or finals, you know, to determine grades. They ask you, list three main reasons, list five main reasons, and and you list slavery as one of the main reasons, you, you, would, you would get deducted points. But again, this is uh, 2020, this is post-2008, 2013 logic, you know. We're stating something um, factually means stating something with emotions <laughs> that's blatantly wrong. You know when you used to write an essay, you couldn't think of uh, things to write. You just make things up. <laughs> that, that's that's what it sounds like. She had nothing to really write about, so she just pulled something out of her uh, behind, probably huge behind, and um, somehow she got little uh, grades, you know, like like brownie points. You know, just for writing something down, you get one point. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's it. Overall, the 1619 project is much uh, needed corrective to blindly celebratory history that once dominated our understanding of past history. You know, again, 
this sounds like somebody writing BS, right? When again, when I have to write um, uh, things to pass class classes back in college, I used to talk with a like almost the exact same nonsensory language. All this language is hidden and coded just to fill up space in an essay. <laughs> that's what this. That's what this <laughs> sounded like. You know. Anyway, um, let's continue. The current version has essay preserves their controversial statements to show such a claim. Anti-black racism runs uh, very in every day in every country. Which okay, so let me continue a little bit more before I get to another point. The Pulitzer Prize Committee described Hannah Jones' essay as sweeping, deeply reported, and personal. <laughs> oh, sweepingly bad. The Pointer, Pointer Institute, which lists straw, George Soros, what a wonderful man. Open Society Fund, Open Society Foundations, I, 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 Cornell, Nelly, again. So it sounds like it was supposed to be pushed as a divisiveness. The, the reason the essay one is to be divisive itself. Uh, you know, it, it's going the way of like the Oscars and Academy Awards and those made up awards, like music awards. I, I've, I've never watched those awards. Um, I've always felt it was really boring <laughs> and it did nothing for me. I was always like a sports guy or a, a video game guy or movie guy. Even as a kid, you know, I never cared about these those those things. I knew who won something because it was in the newspaper the next day or something along those lines, but never cared. I also think she claimed that uh, America wasn't started until the... Uh, from what I recall, it's been a while since the story appeared last year. America started when, when the black slaves came to America. Look. You know, this is gonna kind of touch you, right? No one should look back. I'm gonna say this, right? I can't believe I'm saying this, right? But no one should look back at slavery as, as a bad thing. Um, was bad things involved? Absolutely, but also human progress also taken the. See, okay, so the reason I say that is like, you don't know what you believe today that'll be sacrificed tomorrow for the sake of social justice, right? When you have to look back three or four hundred years to find the problem in today's world, you you, you are pushing a a, a um, how this is a divisive issue that has no bearing today. You know, it has zero bearing in your lives today. You're trying to find little nooks and crannies to to I guess get brownie points. And again, it, it, these things. If these people really care, they'll look back at the Arab slave trades. You know, they don't care. They absolutely don't care. A lot of them just want to uh, just give him the pat on the back, you know. Look, I said something that virtue signal. Pat me on the back. Give me brownie points. Let me get paid. Let me get extra marks. Again, in school, I'm scared to like uh, talk about this stuff in the school system. You get fired. You know? Hell, I've, I've been I've been fired for uh, for saying some stuff, you know. And it's nothing like this, you know. <laughs> Yeah, it's like putting responsibility on the kids I've been fired for. You know? Oh, there you go. Cats out of the bag. Now again, it's 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 like again, every every, you know, how far back in history do you want to go? Because everybody has has made everybody a slave, right? But apparently these um, these these okay, so stupid people use identity politics to try to get ahead. These stupid people. They tend not to process information correctly, right? So they tend to blame others, right? So one of the ideas out there is like the the least intelligent people in any organization, any institution, any corporation, any school system, in in any part of society, the stupidest people at any job tend to be the virtue signalers, social justice warriors. Okay, they're the ones who tend to turn those things. It's a survival tool where groups gather. To essentially always people that are smarter than them you know people that are smarter tend to be loners tend to be more alone they tend to have less friends how do you how do you out somebody who's technically better than you you get a mob of people <laughs> that's why you do it again I don't look back at slavery as this um okay so okay so I don't okay this is the thing they want to demonize people don't demonize people because it never ends. It never ends. It never ends when you keep demonizing groups of people like this. It never ends. You know, it, it, that, I guess that's my biggest issue. It's not so much that it was bad. It's just there. We look to demonize good people. You know. Again, just, 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 
five six years ago n- nobody um, wanted hmm, <laughs> when I say this um, non nuclear uh, type marriages then all of a sudden people decide hey we want it in reality it's because the communist party yes the communists in China were pushing um, articles into the American citizens that continue today that is divisive that leads to nothing but the destruction of civilization okay that's where it is okay China wouldn't allow this yet they're the one pushing this upon the Western world okay all right so anyway that's I'll cut it short here this this this, this article is garbage not the article written but the person who won the Pulitzer Prize Hannah whatever you know I mean Hannah Jones this person okay it shows that even um, it shows that the least intelligent person in any group <laughs> can uh, accomplish a lot if they if they're in the right side of quote unquote the right side of history you know this is this person has nothing facially that tells you that she has a good uh, brain on her okay it's all emotions she just pushed to be divisive by again the open uh, foundation which is a uh, George Soros um, think tank group okay. That's it. Um, hope you liked, enjoyed in some way. And um, life is unfair. <laughs> Let me go cry for a few minutes and get back to another story. Take care. Bye. Thumbs up.